today's tutorial i'm going to use this bony yarn 50 grams and it's a hundred percent cotton and a 2.5 millimeters hook so let's dive in make a loop Enter your hook into the loop and make a chain of 60. My chain is ready. You're going to do a plus two. One, two. Skip the first two loops. One, two. Come into the third and work a double crochet. This is a double crochet. Continue working a double crochet in the next loop and you're going to work a double crochet on the entire chain. I'm going to meet you at the end of the row. I am getting to the end of my first row of double crochets. I have one loop left. One or two loops left. So this is my first row of double crochet. We are now working on the second row, chain two. That's like your first double crochet. Start from the very first loop with a double crochet. And then continue working a double crochet on the entire row i am getting to the end of the second row of double crochet and i have one loop left And the, this is my second row, chain one, two, turn your work, start from the very first loop with a double crochet and you're going to continue working a double crochet. We are going to work this same stitch to a total of 36 rows of double crochet. That's what i'm working on the size i'm working on it's a small but i'm going to write in the description the additions you should add for medium and large or but then most importantly i would request you do take measurements my 36 rows are ready i am going to chain one and cut off this yarn as simple as that we are now starting on another piece so make a loop it's like the back of our piece enter your hook into the loop you've created and you're going to make a chain of 60. my chain is ready you're going to add a plus two one two Skip the first two loops, come into the third, and work a double crochet. The first two loops are like the first double crochet. So you're going to work double crochet along the entire chain. We are going to repeat the same thing like we did in the beginning, but this time around we are going to work only eight rows. So I'm going to fasten my video. I'll meet you when I have eight rows of double crochets so i have reached my eight rows of double crochets so 
sorry i'm a bit distracted but these are my eight rows of double crochets i hope you have yours ready now we are going to work on the reduction as you can see you're going to make that count and reduce so we are going to count 23 double crochets and put a stitch marker I'm done putting the stitch marker now we are going to continue chain two turn your work start from the very first loop and work a double crochet you're going to work a double crochet until on until you're close to the stitch marker so I'm going to meet you when I have like two or three loops left to the toward the stitch marker I'm getting close to the stitch marker. So if you see I have three loops, come into that third loop, put a double crochet. We are working a decrease now. You're going to come in this two loops and work a decrease. So we're going to start first remove the stitch marker. Come in this loop, pull up the yarn, wrap, go into the next, pull up the yarn, pull through all, pull through two. That's how I work my decrease. Then chain one, two, turn your work. Come in the very first loop, enter, pull through, wrap your yarn around the hook, go into the next loop and pull through, pull through all and pull through two. That's how I work my reduction. So you're going to continue again and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what's next. I'm getting at the end of my second row of reduction. Enter into this last loop like that so i'm going to show you two more and then you work out the rest chain two turn your work work a double crochet start from the very first loop i am going to work this again and i'll meet you towards the reduction again i'm getting to the end of my third row i'm going to work a decrease Put a double crochet because you always have to have two loops left. So go into that second last loop, pull through, wrap your yarn, go into the last loop, pull through, pull through all, pull through two. Chain one, two, turn your work. Wrap your yarn, start from the very first loop, pull through, wrap your yarn, enter into the next, pull pull through all and pull through two and continue working a double crochet so you are going to do a total of eight rows of um, decreases and that's a total of 16 rows and I'm going to show up when I have two of these because we need two of these I'm done with my two pieces I hope you have yours too and this is the main piece so we are now first going to do a clean up along these areas so get your hook chain one you're going to work with a single crochet so in each double crochet you're going to work a single crochet two single crochets sorry in each double crochet work two single crochets so i'm going to fasten this part and i'll meet you at the end of this first cleanup i am done with this part you're going to come in one the last loop enter a single crochet we are going to do a turn this is my last loop like that so chain one go back into that same loop work a single crochet to help you make a turn and then work 
a single crochet along this entire row so these were the double crochets so work a single crochet on top of each double crochet i'll meet you at the end of this row as well again i'm getting done with a single crochet on this part coming to the very last loop again you're going to work a chain one to help you turn turn with a single crochet in that same loop and again continue working two single crochet in each double crochet i'm going to fasten this part as well again i'm getting done here working the last loop again chain one to help you turn again work single crochet in each loop i'm going to fasten a bit i'll meet you a little bit later you have to work until you reach this spot so i'm getting there we are going to continue working and we will stop at the edge so continue working your single crochet on this turn you're going to again work two single crochets in each double crochet I'm going to fasten this part as well but we until we reach the end of it we are not going to work another cleanup we are going to work a cleanup here as well still using single crochet so work the cleanup of a single crochet you're going to make a loop sorry i'm distracted come in the very first loop enter your hook pull through the loop you have created and start working a single crochet so chain one in each double crochet you're going to work two single crochets so that's my second single crochet going to the next single crochet work along the entire row until the end of it and you'll do the same thing on the downer part as well so let me speed up my video on this part i'm done doing the cleanup my back parts have been cleaned up as well both of them these two this is how it looks we are now going to attach these parts on the other main part that we worked on first. So I have already attached this piece. This is my good side, so I'm working from the inside, I, if I may say. So you're going to get this other piece and attach it. This is the version of how I'm attaching it not the other way around so if you can notice i used a single i mean a slip stitch to attach my piece you can see that and now you're going to get your other piece since i already touched mine before i'll show you with this second piece put it together and make sure the counts are equal if you're not so sure, I'll first make the count of the loops that you have, but you can also use the rows, eight rows on the other piece, eight rows on this piece. So I'm going to come and create a loop. Come on your piece, on the very first piece, enter through and enter through the back first loop pull through the one you have created 
sorry. Then chain one and go into the next loop and the one at the back, the next one at the back, pull through. Go into the next and the one at the back. Sorry for my mess. Sorry, pull through. So you're going to work it like that until you've attached that part of the piece to together. I am getting done chain one and cut off the yarn. My, I have now attached the shoulder area of my two pieces. Now we are going to attach this corner area. Again, we're using the slip stitch. But if you want, you can use a tapestry needle. I just prefer to use the slip stitch this time around. Make a loop. enter in the very first loop on this piece and the one on the other piece you're again going to work the same slip stitch until we've created our underarm i'm going to fasten my video just to make sure it's not draggy i am getting done with the slip stitch i have a few loops left chain one and you can cut off the yarn but i'm going to work on the arm area so i can keep my yarn hanging but if you want you can cut off the yarn so this is how our piece looks so far this is the back area you can make it the front too depending on how big your bust is so it works for me either way so i'm going to work on the arms and so come on your piece you are going to chain one two and then start working from the very first loop with a, a half double crochet work a half double crochet all around the arm area i'm going to meet you at the end i'm getting to the end of my row of half double crochet i have one loop left and you're going to come to the very first loop and slip stitch so this is it absolutely beautiful you're now going to chain one two three and then turn your work skip one loop this is like your the first two is like your first half double crochet skip one loop make a half double crochet chain one Skip this loop into the next, make a half double crochet, chain one, skip this loop, go into the next, make a half double crochet. You're going to work this along the entire row. I'm going to meet you at the end of it. I am getting to the end of my chain spaces. Come to the very first third loop from ground from down and slip stitch chain one two turn your work you're going to come in the space and put a double crochet 
then skip the single the half double crochet go into the space put two double crochets then skip the half double crochet into the space put two double crochets so you're going to do that i'm going to meet you at the end of the row i am getting to the end of the row i have one space left Then you're going to go on top of the first chain to go into the upper loop and pull through. So this is your row one. So chain two. That's like your first double crochet. Turn your work. Come in between the 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 two double crochets and put a double crochet. Skip two double crochet. Go into the space. Put two double crochets, then skip these two double crochets into the space. You're going to work this to a total of three rows. I'm going to meet you there. I am getting to the end of my third row. Enter into that loop, the very first double crochet with the slip stitch. So this is how it looks. You're now going to chain one and two. Turn your work. You're going to work a half double crochet in each loop. So enter in that next loop, work a half double crochet like that. Continue working a half double crochet until the end. I'm going to meet you when mine is done. So this is the close of all, the close up of our arm, and then we'll work on the other one. I am getting done with my half double crochet, slip stitch, in the very first loop. Chain one and cut off the yarn. So this is our arm. It's done. You're going to do that same thing on the other side of your piece. Absolutely gorgeous. You're going to work that here too. And then we start, we start on something else. Both my arms are ready. And now we are going to work a strap around this area and that's that will be the end of our piece so make a loop sorry come on the very lower part of the piece enter your hook we are adding a string that is going to create our strap or the the string the strap you're going to use to make the bow bow tie you're going to chain 50 51 i'm going to fasten this part i'll meet you when it's done my string is done cut off the yarn and then we create another string on the other side of the piece so This side you're going to do make a loop and then you chain 50 plus 2. I am done with my chain of 50. You're going to do a plus 2 and that will make it be like you have 51 double crochet. So that's my plus 2. Skip the first two loops, come into the third. Ah, sorry. We are going to work with a half double crochet, not a double crochet. So work a half double crochet until you reach the end of the other string that we created. 
so i'm going to fasten my video to avoid it being too too long I am getting to the end of my to, of the other string and this is it this is the first row and you're going to again sorry you are going to chain two and turn your work and start from the very first loop with a half double crochet and you're going to continue working this until you have a total of four five six rows considering to how thick you want it to be so i'm going to work mine to a total of four to five thank you guys for watching like this video subscribe bye bye can't wait